everybody, and welcome to the It's in Queens podcast covering events in the borough between May 10th and May 16th in the year 2018. Uh, we're going to begin today uh, by showing you a photo, a historic photo. Tukupai, could you please put up the photo? All right. Kids in the hall. Okay, so what you just saw was a, a picture of uh, Harlem 1958. Uh, it was uh, 57 jazz legends uh, from who were all alive in the era. Obviously, most of them lived in Harlem. Some of them lived in Queens. Uh, it went. It was uh, on the front cover of a Esquire magazine, and it also went all around the the world. And they even made a documentary out of it. It was the first viral photo. It was the first viral photo. Right. <laughs> the photographer was a, a guy by the name of Art Kane. And I guess it's time to do our introductions, which we normally start out. As always, I'm Rob Mackay from the Queens Tourism Council. My, my far left is Chris Donovan from the Daily News, the co-producer. And in the middle is Art Kane's son, the photographer's son, Jonathan Kane. Very pleased to be here. Welcome, you Jonathan. Gentlemen. Thanks very <laughs> Thanks much. For coming. Thanks for having me here. We appreciate it. And, um, well, we're here because, uh, I mean, the, my father's photo uh, was historic. I'm going to also point out that it was his idea to uh, to impress the editors at Esquire to uh, put together an unprecedented group portrait. Esquire was planning a special issue in January 1959 on the golden age of jazz. So Art Kane, my father at the time, was an art director. He had not launched his career as a photographer yet. Um, and he cooked up this idea to try to invite as many giants in jazz uh, industry as possible, and um, so the, he got the okay from uh, the editor Harold Benton, um, who actually went Robert Benton, excuse me, who actually went on to be a big Hollywood director, everyday people, ordinary people, and you know work with mm -hmm. you know um, uh, lots of big films. Uh, they signed off on the idea and uh, started uh, uh, doing a recruitment, and then uh, waited to see who would turn up. And in fact, they got. Um, they got 57, Count Basie. 58 of the yeah. biggest names, Basie, yeah. Lester how, how Young. How long did it take him to put it together? Was it like a six-month process? Was it a couple of weeks? It was a, a couple of weeks, probably. No kidding. Yeah, and Without talking, the use of email and text? Without the <laughs> way before all those things. It was called The Agent. Ah, <laughs> yes. And, uh, and the Union Hall and things like that. So some of you might be wondering, why are we talking about this Harlem 1958 Good photo question. with mm. Art Kane? Jonathan Kane just happens to live in Jackson Heights, one of our oh, beloved Queens neighborhoods yeah. and Chris's hometown. And he is going to take an homage photo at the Unisphere, in front of the Unisphere, uh, on May 19th, which is, I believe, 12 days from today, or from whenever day you're watching taping this. It, right? tick, 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 um, tick, tick. And instead of uh, jazz greats, we are gonna gra we're going to get as many Queens residents uh, from as many different countries as possible. First generation, second generation, et cetera, et cetera. Actually, everyone's invited. Right now, we're looking, we've probably got 60 uh, different countries represented, uh, but we're going to take this photo on, on May 19th in front of the Unisphere. We're still looking for people we have kazakhstan we have togo uh we do not have malawi uh oh. we do not have denmark what an oversight um yeah we have we have about 60 countries and i think there are 172 in the world or something so like the thing that. is yeah i mean uh, from my perspective any country that makes their home pe people of any nation who make their home in the great borough of queens who aren't there would be a, a loss to the photograph. Yeah, that's right. For me, the, the, the point behind this is Queens is, and proudly so, the most ethnically uh, and culturally diverse place on planet Earth. The most and that's something county to in the world. To, yeah. be, to be really proud of. London claims that, that mm. crown is not true. Please, they don't have Toronto, a lot of Hispanics. And they, Toronto, they, they're doing pretty they good, but nope, yeah. it's Queens and everybody mm -hmm. knows it. Now, so in... My father's photograph has been re recreated in homage dozens of times with other groups of musicians, hip hop, and That's... classical musicians. All that. Mm -hmm. the, what we're moving to do here is something else altogether. It's a, it's a celebration of diversity, of the the the, the power of of uh, of cultural integration. And what's really beautiful uh, about a borough of Queens is that it's a place that the whole world calls home. That's and right. so I, I'm really uh, excited that Rob has recruited so many nationalities as possible. And if you're out there listening and you represent a country, come on please by. contact us and come by. We're, we're encouraging uh, 
na- that you uh, wear the uh, the clothing of your traditional uh, of garb, your traditional garb of your yeah. country. You're it's welcome to bring food too. <laughs> That's right. Not but we will have we will have some, some tea food. and some coffee and some bagels and other. What's things. the best way to reach email out me, to you guys? which okay. is r m a c k a y at queensny.org. That's r m a c k a y at queensny.org. Um, we're going to go over... So, the uh, other thing I should probably mention is that Jonathan, like his father, is a professional photographer who's taken photographs all around the world. Uh, he's even once took a, a shot in front of the uh, Unisphere for Ford Magazine, for Ford Motor Company, Ford Motor I guess Company, is the... Re- yeah. Mustang? So, so, he's no, not of a Mustang. The, was everybody complains was the, about uh, that Mustang shoot because they didn't <laughs> they didn't honor their terms of the permit. No. Right. Wow. Mine was a, 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 a Ford Fusion, okay. and it was the cover of the Ford Owners Magazine. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. So we have a very experienced, uh, talented photographer, and we're looking for as many people to come out. HSBC Bank has given uh, the Queen's the Queen's Tourism Council five thousand dollars to produce a calendar. So we're going to be taking a lot of photos. Uh, we're going to be making a calendar. Which, That's a great idea. It's by a the great way. idea. Like, like yeah, really great um, idea. So it's it's probably one big photo, probably twelve fo- twelve other photos, and then mm-hmm. probably fifty other photos they'll be doing throughout the time. We'll be there from eight in the morning until eleven. At least that's where our, when our permit has us there. And, now you guys um, have gotten in touch with my people, the plus size talent agency. Or, <laughs> the plus yeah. size talent yeah. agency. <laughs> We're having immigrants can be all shapes and sizes. That's right. Um, so please, again, contact me. Um, and uh, we're really happy to do that plug now. Yeah. Um, please let's, come out. Uh, but let's go. Since we have a Jackson Heights resident uh, and a man in the arts world, why don't we go through our, our weekly uh, lineup of events with him and see that what he That sounds great. I'm sure. You know, I bet there's some jazz in here, too, as a matter of fact. <laughs> well, America's that, truest art form, right? That is. It is. Yeah. A, um, let's begin with uh, the Museum of the Moving Image. I have a question oh. for you guys. Museum of the Moving Image. and Weekly mention. Who is... The most famous actor ever to grow up in Sunnyside. I know the answer because I saw the list, but I'll let uh, let Mr. Kane take a shot at it. It's not Telly Savalas, is it? No, he's from Astoria. I'll give you a hint. His last name almost rhymes with yours. Oh, good one. one. Yeah. (laughs) All right. Well, there is a James Caan film festival. (laughs) James Caan, who went to the same grammar school as my daughter in Sunnyside. Oh, look at that. Have you know that. Uh, went on to create movies or be in movies such as The Godfather. I think sure. he's the most famous for. Yeah. Um, what else? He was in... Freebie uh, and the Bean. For, which one is that? With Alan Arkin. Uh, it's like, oh, okay. As far as I remember, it's the first time they ever used uh, the Witness Protection Program in a movie. Ah, That's the okay. first time I ever... Well, at least I ever remember seeing... <laughs> Con's a great actor. <laughs> yeah. Yep. His Sonny in The Godfather is one yeah. of the great characters. You know? Of all yep. time. Really. So they're going to be showing James Con movies from May 11th uh, to May 20th uh, nice. at, at the Museum of the Moving Image. And my understanding is that they've chosen films that kind of show all different facets of his life as an entertainer. One, one of them has him singing. One of them has him dancing. One of them has him whacking people. There's no uh, elf on so, here. I would have liked to have seen the elf. Uh, yeah, but so if you're interested in that, probably my uh, you, if you're interested in that, you actually have nine days to uh, to, to check out some of those movies. Yeah. Uh, my next question is: Does anyone here need a haircut? I mean, you don't. The, the I, few yeah, I have you can left. Argue the two of us <laughs> might just have use one, but I'm very devoted to my. Uh, no, I guess I can't give a plug for. My, where I get my haircut in this story. Because you're about to plug somebody else. No, no what no, I'm going to no, plug no. is that it's no. it's it's the annual time of year when the sheep get their haircuts at the Queens County Farm Museum. Oh, okay. yeah. Sheep shearers. Though, have right. you ever seen what they do? They they put a, they they really put on a show. They take they, they they put the sheep on their side and they cut up all the uh, all the uh, the wool and yeah, who um, wants to wear a wool sweater all summer. Who wants right? to wear a wool sweater all summer? But uh, it's a great it's a hilarious event. Uh, the kids go crazy when uh, when they they cut the uh, when they give the haircuts to the sheep. And uh, this this week it's actually part of their annual spring festival. That's um, right. And they're going to have people there who are who are technically known as fiber artists. Uh, they will show uh, people there how wool is spun and woven and dyed and uh, needle felt and all that other stuff. That's cool. Of you. And um, since it's their annual uh, uh, event, there's also you know there's the plant sale, the hay rides, the petting zoo. There's a country music band, food trucks, all that kind of stuff. And let me tell you something. Personally, I love the Queens County Farm Museum. It's a really it's a cool have you place. ever taken Liam there? Absolutely, we did. Liam's his six year old son. <laughs> <laughs> we, we did the Easter egg hunt. We've done some of the farmer's markets. It's uh-huh. a great place to take them. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, 
Uh, tango and flamenco. What happens when you mix tango and flamenco? You get Takenko. <laughs> no, I don't know. <laughs> well, go to the Talia Spanish Theater in Sunnyside. Sunnyside that's Rob's. Uh, it's actually they they have a so they have it's it's a world premiere of a show uh, with a famous Uruguayan uh, Bando, Bando Leon player, which is kind of like the. Uh, uh, what do you call it? accordion? It's yep. kind of, uh, who uh, who's big in tango? Who uh, created a show with someone from Seville or Sevilla? Who's a big flamenco guy? Uh, and this is the world premiere at the Talia Theater. Uh, it opens the show opens on May 11th, but it runs until July 1st. All right, so you got a lot of chances, that, but definitely hearing. get there this week. Yeah, I uh, I think tango is great. Flamenco is. They're incredible dance forms. They're incredible dance forms, um, and uh, the theater is a, is a it's a it's a gem. It's, it's an a hidden unsung gem. gem. Yeah. Is there live music accompanying? The yes, music? in yeah. fact, uh, the guy Raúl Harena is his name. He's the bandolion player. He 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 wrote it, composed it, arranged it, Beautiful. everything. So. Nice. Yeah, so it, that's uh, something that I personally would, uh, would sunny side go going. out there for a nice dinner Stay and grab, in a, grab a show. Um, and I guess uh, Dorothy Day. What do we know about Dorothy Day? I believe you know what I'm Dorothy Day. Well, she's she an actress or a singer. No, no? she's actually uh, she founded the Catholic Worker Movement, uh, which <laughs> <laughs> that's. What, of course, that's what I meant. Yeah, yeah, of course. <laughs> she's uh, she was you know the Catholic Worker where. where People lived uh, in; they all lived in small communes, communes yep. and uh, very lived frugally, and went out and did good works. Believe it or not, I have two different sets of neighbors who met uh, at, at Catholic Order facilities. Uh, the one that was in the village for a while, really, um, yeah. But Dorothy Day was a very complex woman, right? Who had a tremendous life, uh, mm-hmm. full of all kinds of you know uh, activism and whatnot, and she converted to Catholicism. Uh, and uh, the probably the man who knew her best, the man who spoke at her funeral. Uh, is giving a lecture on Dorothy Day in her life. At and the, he was the chaplain, right? And he was the chaplain of the 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 Catholic Workers Movement. There you go. Are you you're a practicing Catholic? I was definitely I definitely went to Catholic school. <laughs> you went to Catholic. Okay, no need to practice in that case, right? Yeah, I perfected it. Um, the uh, the other big thing I would say is the LIC Arts Open. Oh yeah, this is a good that, one. That's four days. It starts on on the sixteenth, um, and what happens is it's kind of like a. Well, it's really Astoria and Long Island City, um, and all of the different artists, a whole bunch of artists, will open up their studios, and people can walk around and check it's out a all peek the different behind studios. the curtain of uh, yep. what artists work. And all of them are there, so you can actually talk to them. That's right. right. So I tell did, me about this. I did it That's a couple great. years ago, and mm-hmm. I don't know if he's there anymore, but it was a Lego artist named Sean Kinney. A Lego uh, artist. Lego artist. <laughs> what does he do? He made like incredible sculptures out of oh, Legos, really? honestly. And then he uh-huh. did some commercial work as well. Like he would build like a, you know, whatever car is coming out, he'd make a Lego model. Ah, okay. But he was great, and he had. A, I mean, I've never seen so many Legos in my life. But it was a very <laughs> cool thing. Yeah, that's the thing about the, the 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 arts open is that there's so many different artists all together. In fact, in some cases, they're all in the same building. That's it. And the it the variety is tremendous. I mean, you've got you know you've got it's not just there's the photographer and a painter. And, you know, there's a Japanese, you know, such and such art and so on yeah. and so forth. But, I mean, it, it would be good to catch it now because Long Island City changes so rapidly that I don't know how long <laughs> soon the it's artists all be, can hold uh, on soon to it's all gonna be, uh, their residence there. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. that's a yeah. good point. That's so a good point. Definitely check it out. Support them. Um, uh, the other things I wanted to cover was uh, just kind of quickly, uh, there is a cemetery walking tour in Maple Grove. We love Maple Grove. Maple Grove. On the same be. day um, that they are also doing a, a concert, a live concert, uh, Jewish music. Okay. Uh, so you could actually take the walking tour and find out all the famous people who were born there. And then at the end, buried, buried there, born there. All the permanent <laughs> residents, all the permanent residents um, are there. That's a quiet place to live. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, and people then, are dying to move in, and then people are dying. Sorry. And then afterwards, you can listen to uh, an homage to uh, Israeli uh, independence. It's the 70th anniversary. Okay. Uh, and uh, moving right along, I guess you know the other thing that I always go back to is the Flushing Town Hall has Ken? its live drawing with models. I love and if that. you have any desire to be an artist. Uh, you go to Flushing, on, and in this case, it's it's on May 14th, and there are a lot of other artists there, and they're all it's supportive and it's non-judgmental, and there are a bunch of different models that different poses, and you work on your stuff. I, That's I love that. Yeah, especially right. as a guy who has no talent. <laughs> um, and and um, I I would add before we get to you, yeah, uh, 
uh, so the Queens, my the other favorite is the Queens uh, County Bird Club at the oh. uh, Alley Pond Environmental Center. Uh, these a couple of these bird lovers went to Antarctica. Um, and they took a whole bunch of photos of birds there, and they're going to give a lecture and slideshow uh, nice. on the uh, birds of Antarctica at, at the Alley Pond Environmental Center in Douglaston. Which is um, another great place to bring your kids. Which is another is. Fan- fantastic, to- another another Queen's gem. Yeah. Um, also doing a spring bird walk for beginners on May 12th. As and well. in the same, as Alley yeah. Pond is also doing, mm-hmm. yes, on May 12th, they're doing a bird walk uh, with somebody from the Queens County Bird uh, Club who's going to teach. It's uh, adult beginners is what she said. Yes, so, so, right, that's right. So you can learn uh, the the basics, the ABCs of bird watching. No, I've heard of ducks and swans and geese, but I have no <laughs> idea what a coot is. Is that listed on that's the thing? That's listed. Coots. Coot. A coot. That's the grumpy old guy who's complaining that you're blocking <laughs> right, away right. with your binoculars. That's right. Oh, that's what you're like. And they, they also have something else called a greb. A yeah. G R E B. No, I got nothing What's on that. that G R E B E. What nope. kind of a bird is that? No. Oh, okay. Nope. Have you ever taken a photograph of a bird, Mister? I have. Oh, I okay. Have. Yeah. yeah. All right. Uh, I, um. <laughs> he will not be on the walk. <laughs> he will not be on the walk. It was called the Thunderbird. He took a photo of a Thunder, Ford Thunderbird. Very good. Um, that was great. That's that's about it for me this week. But mm-hmm. I think we have uh, Chris. You have anything you want to add to this? Two things. One, uh, something on the list that we we didn't cover yet is the Queensboro Dance Festival opening. Mm. That's at Queens Theater. Uh, but what I thought was really cool about this is that it's uh, all summer long, basically, or actually all year long, mm-hmm. I should say. And look at the venues there we're going to be performing in. Queens Theater, sure. Your College. They're going to be at LAC Springs, which is a street festival. Yep. They're going to be um, uh, at Queens Pride, the Queens Pride Parade. They're going to be at Bliss Street, uh, which is right in Sunnyside, yep. underneath the train tracks. They're going to be at JPAC. They're going to be in Far Rockaway, Flushing Meadow, Corona Park, Juniper Valley. Um, I'm sorry, Juniper Park, Woodside. Uh, Lost Battalion in Rigo Park, Fort Totten, Flushing Town Hall, Hunters Point, and Forest Park. So that is a, a thing that covers almost everywhere. You they can be they have 26 different dance companies, and yeah. all the dance companies are based in Queens. The woman who organizes it is uh, Caressia Batan, who is from the Philippines and is is going to be in the photo shoot on May 19th. Brought it all back but in. But she, <laughs> she is on fire. She's got so much energy. And last year she held the Queensboro Dance Festival, uh, which I think was um, – Two different. It was it was outdoors at, at the LIC landing, and then again it was indoors in Long Island City again. Mm-hmm. And so now she's just taking this to another level. Um, so yeah, you can go if you go on on uh, May 11th. Is that right? May 10th. May 10th. I have here. On May 10th at Queens Theater, you can meet people from the 26 dance participating dance companies. Mm-hmm. Uh, they're going to give you a. The, she's going to tell you about what's coming up and all the dance Maybe performances that they're going to do. They're going to do a 30 minute. Uh, dance performance, and they're going to show a video of uh, uh, of what they plan to do this That's season. That's what you do. Give them a little taste. You want them, want, give, give them a little them taste. More. And as <laughs> and as Chris said, they're all over the the borough this summer. Yeah. Um, and that Caressius is great. That's and fantastic. And photogenic. <laughs> That's good to um, hear. Good to hear. Anything else so, to add? Very quickly. Okay. Also, congratulations to you, Rob, on your event, uh, Taste of Queens. I, Thank you very I much. I heard from many, many people that it was a great success. I Thank hope, you. Uh, well, that, was, yeah. that was right. last That's Tuesday, that. May 1st, at yeah. uh, New York College of Science. We had, I think, 61 tables. Yeah. Giving out food and alcohol. Nary a loser in the bunch. I mean, everything was fantastic. Thank so you. that was Thank really you. nice. Nice. I don't know together. if you guys know it, but uh, Otto Minnelli's. Uh, we had a there's a, a really really good burger joint in Woodside called yeah. Otto Minnelli's, and they were grilling up burgers as you would expect. Uh, the smoke. Uh, set off an alarm, so I actually had to deal with firefighters. Firefighters <laughs> showed up in a fire truck. Did they really? Yeah. Oh boy. <laughs> Did not um, know that. Yeah, they, they. I just showed them to where the alcohol tables were, and everything. Very was smart there. move. No, just kidding. Um, they were on duty. They were clean. They were clean. <laughs> <laughs> um, and, and very quickly, else? yeah. So I do have a very personal Queens event this week. Uh, this Friday, May 11th, at Bourbon Street, which is on Bell Boulevard. Bayside. We're doing. Uh, yeah, we're doing a benefit for a friend of mine, uh, Dennis Sheehan. He was uh, fell victim to a stroke a couple years back and he's been working hard to come back from it uh at the time he was a, he's a trained chef from cia you know very very he's also a queens native who Queen, went to archbishop malloy high school absolutely correct? yeah in Briarwood, look queens. at you you read yeah. up on it um i just know where you went to there school. you go <laughs> <laughs> and at the time he was uh teaching kids in uh harlem uh healthy eating habits and how to uh sort of grow their own food and you know sometimes they talk about you know places being a food away uh good uh, good food uh, oasis food desert food desert where you sorry. can't get any good food um there. so he, he was 
doing he was doing good work. And uh, the second part of his business was uh, outside of that, he was jarring his own sauce to um, sort of fund this company called Dietize. He wanted to help diabetics eat healthier. Mm-hmm. So unfortunately, all that came to a screeching halt. And uh, we'd like to get him back uh, up on his feet as far as financially, because it's very hard to come back from a stroke. I mean, there's just and so he's much. He's also really young. He's like very, 40, he's 47, 47, my age, which is. A, uh, yeah. I uh, found out from my wife yesterday. Actually, is not young, according to her. <laughs> <laughs> she goes. She goes. How old was that woman? I said, Oh, she was in her mid forties. You know, she was young. She goes. Oh, that's not young, Chris. <laughs> well, that's what she. How dare she? Uh, uh, yeah, what's she? Twenty nine. She is yeah. thirty five. She's in the seventh <laughs> year of being twenty nine. There you go. Um, all right. So thank you. So if you can that's come out at Bourbon support Street, that. Street uh, yeah. Bell Please. Boulevard in Bayside. Right. Yeah. yeah. Eighty bucks. Uh, uh, four hours of food and drink, uh, beer, wine, soda. Um, you know, and we'll have some raffles, and hopefully we'll have some special guests. So okay. it should be good. Um, right. Now again, we're gonna. Uh, I just want to remind everyone that we talk, and we just sort of, you know, freeform it. We just sort of freeform it. Uh, everything is on our website, and it's correct on the website. That's I can right. Guarantee you, correct on the website. <laughs> and I actually uploaded this to your website too. Oh, so. did you? Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah. Um, and that is uh, www.itsandqueens.com. And remember, things that we talk about also go out on our Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram account. That's right. And everything is it's in Queens. It's That's all right. hashtag it's in Queens. It's in Queens.com. Facebook. Facebook. Dot com backslash it's in Queens, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Um, let's take a little more uh, Jackson Heights. Tell me, we, let's go and take a few more seconds to uh, to get to know our photographer a little better. Um, so what do you love about Jackson Heights? Well, so, I mean, it's all about the diversity for me. When my wife and I uh, first were shown our apartment there in 1990, we had been in Astoria for a couple of years, and that's after. Uh, look, I grew up in Washington Heights in the north of Manhattan. Manhattan. Mm-hmm. Sure. And and Holly and we're not going to hold that against. Holly and I met <laughs> living in the East Village. You know where I was involved. I'm a musician also. I'm involved oh, nice. in the downtown music scene for years. I've, what clubs? All of them. <laughs> all of them. All <laughs> of them. Those are Manhattan clubs. We don't you know, know. I know, but Mud I clubs, I used to love Bleaker, uh, <laughs> you know, yeah. um, uh, the Pep Lounge, Danceteria. Oh, nice. And then all the, you know, BAM, I've played BAM, I've played uh, Lincoln Center, I've nice. played, uh, you know, I've toured all over the world, i made over 50 records. Wow. So music is my first thing, photography is my second thing. Um, Holly and I uh, were shown our apartment in Jackson Heights, and we were initially like, could we live out here? And then we took a walk around the neighborhood, and we were impressed with the multiculturalism uh, we we stopped for lunch at the Jackson Diner, and that was what we called the lease signing event. It was like, <laughs> well, that was we'll the, the best. We'll Jackson Diner is a really good Indian uh, yeah, restaurant. Yeah, the best yeah. for a long time. It was running. Right? Yep. So, I'm happy to say I was actually there Saturday night. There you go. <laughs> I go on to say that I was very proud to raise our, our daughter in Jackson Heights, send her to public school at PS69, where she uh, was educated and grew up with children from all over the world. Sure. And uh, and again, her education she received there was was super solid and enabled her and inspired her to work hard and end up uh, also in public school at Bronx Science. And now she's a college grad and That's working. Fantastic. And she um, she uh, is working at getting high school kids into college, New York City public school kids into college. She works for a nonprofit. A nonprofit called Bottom Line. So anyway, what do I like about Queens? I, I again, for me. Um, the, the beauty of Queens is, is its, its diversity, its rich cultural diversity. Everybody, li- the whole world lives here and everybody gets along mm-hmm. and everybody uh, is striving and, um, and, and doing their thing and they're welcome here. And so, you know, so, and I'm a food maniac, so the oh, food. There you so go. Besides I Jackson eat- Diner, what else do you like? <laughs> oh, well, you know, there's, uh, you know, there was. Do you go to John's? I no, I hate for ice it. cream. I, sorry, I won't. I won't go into my experience with John. Oh, okay. I, have, I can I talk about that? No, I don't want to say negative things. I'm only going to talk Let's about good things. Stay positive. Stay um, positive. Yeah. Uh, um, oh, Roosevelt well, no, you know, I mean, in fantastic. Elmhurst is like there's incredible. Oh. There's uh, there's. Uh, the, some of the best Thai in the city. Uh, there's certainly. the best Malaysian. You know, mm-hmm. there's Burmese. There's ta- Taiwanese. There's a uh, Robin I's um, one of favorite sandwich ba- places. Jojo, Jojo, sa- ju- ju- yeah. best. Uh, best yeah. the Vietnamese there sandwiches. Was, um, oh yeah, Bologies, yeah. Bologi, Bulgogi, Bulgogi. Flushing, you can't go wrong. Nope. in Flushing, and um, which 
Um, there was, you know, an incredible Argentine steakhouse in Jackson Heights. That it's burned gone down. Now. Burned down. It's called mm. La Porteña. Oh, um, I remember that. Yeah, they, sure. Uh, I'm heart sick every day that they never came back. But <laughs> you can still get a good skirt steak at yeah. a couple of other places Absolutely. in the area. You know, I, just, I like the came vibe back. there. Armando's came back after a fire in Jackson yeah. Heights. Yeah, yeah. same place. Right. A Porteño, you know, that's what they call people from Buenos Aires because it's a port city. So ah, uh, Porteño, that's where they get La Porteño nice, from. Nice, nice, nice. But so anyway, all of this has always inspired me. Uh, you know, again, I've always wanted to do an homage to my father's picture. But nice. I know if my father was around and he was asked to do it again, he would never do it the same way. Of with course. Putting together a bunch of musicians again. No. He would think, what else can I say with this kind of a concept? As comedians and say, so, that would be hack. For me, yeah, yeah, because there's a difference between homage and ripoff. Sure, you know, so homage mm -hmm. is taking an idea and doing something else with it. Mm -hmm. So for me, this is as much of a of a celebration because it's also, by the way, it's about to be the 60th anniversary of my father's mm -hmm. historic oh, photograph Perfect in time. August of 2018. It'll be 60 years Fantastic. since the photograph was taken. So it's part a celebration like that, but for me, much more importantly, it's a statement about it's it's a political and social statement about what's beautiful in queens about multiculturalism about the strength and power we get by by encouraging people from all of the world to come here and 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 a rejection of uh, of of a lot of hateful rhetoric that's coming out of DC right now that's very true um, all right. Anything else people should know? Remember, it's R M A C K A Y at queensny.org. We'd love what about to have your, you. Is your website part of this, or just? Uh, 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 no. Yeah, no. Um, I no. have a website that's strictly for my uh, my, my my car photography. Car. You could go to artkane.com and no, see some say, of Artkane's photographs. Artkane.com. Art a lot of photos of like Jim Morrison in the Doors and uh, Janis Joplin. A couple of pictures of, of jazz greats from the '60s and the '70s. Who. Lots the of who, fashion, yeah. advertising. I mean, he he covered all the bases. My so you your current occupation though is photographer or musician? It's both. It's both. Okay, both. that's fantastic. I'm, I'm playing. My band is playing on the 17th. <laughs> yeah, well, what's the, the name of it? It's called Jonathan Kane's February. Okay. You can Google us. We have a killer YouTube video. Nice. Um, and uh, <laughs> we'll put it up on our page too. Sure. What's yeah, your yeah. Zon genre? Um, it's experimental music. Mi sort of minimalist blues. We rock. We rock. We sort of like, mm. I put it like uh, John Lee Hooker meets Philip Glass. Oh, okay. You know, that should be interesting. You know, something along I just saw our, uh, Buddy Guy at uh, B. Weren't King's you in a great hero of mine. Yeah. I, I, yeah. You were. You had a group called Swan Song for a while, right? Swans. Swans. Oh, the Swans. Was uh, a band that some people are attached to. Uh, a very uh, loud a <laughs> uh, noisy uh, post-industrial yeah. band that performed in 81 and launched in 82. Yeah, I, I formed Swans with Michael Girard. Uh They're still playing. You know, I, I left after the first two, three records with okay. some people. Or, you you know, made your swan song. Yeah. Um, yeah. And I played, you know, in with dozens of other people. If you're a follower of avant-garde and experimental music, I worked for 10 years with Lamont Young, who is basically considered the godfather of minimalist music. Uh, everybody from Terry Riley, Philip Glass, Steve Reich, John Cale formed the Velvet Underground because Cale came to New York to study with Lamont Young. The the wow. original lineup that morphed into the Velvet Underground was Lamont's band called the Dream Syndicate, and with Tony Conrad. And um, so this is the, the deep genre roots. that yeah. I've I've operated with. I was one of the student of Lamont's, Reese Chatham. I spent thirty years working with Reese Chatham with these orchestras of electric guitars that I got to be the drummer for. Nice orchestras of up to a hundred electric guitars. A hundred wow. electric guitars and one drummer. Yeah, and one drummer. That's pretty cool. Yeah, because I. I'm a hard hitter. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> um, so anyway, um, come, so I have this show coming up on the 17th. It's in Brooklyn at a distillery. I like Brooklyn Distillery or something. It's oh, a book where, release where Queen's party. Courage is made these days. Oh, there you go. Yeah. yeah. So oh, anyway, we're, you know. So come on out. Please, everybody, everyone. come. Yeah. If, you, if you come from a beautiful country in the world and you live in Queens, we would love to have you in this picture. Please come and represent your heritage and your culture and be part of this large group of people showing what really makes America great, which is its diversity and its cultural, rich, wide-ranging cultural diversity. 
And if we you have plans you that day, go to, to Brooklyn on, on May 17th. And check out. <laughs> yeah. um, all right, everybody, thank all right. you very much. All right. Thank you, Jonathan. Thanks, thank you, Rob. Thank appreciate you, Christopher. Yeah, thank, yeah, thank you. you, Rob. Um, everyone, it all it's in queens.com. Keep it in the borough. Yeah, keep it in the borough. Queens rules. There you go. Queens.